Hey you guys, it's Anne Marie. Happy Sage and Other Soul Sunday. Da, 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 da. Hope everybody's having a great day. I had to kind of reset my energy from the last reading. I was still feeling a lot of the emotions um, of somebody and whatever. And so as I went outside to ground, I came back in and I noticed Galaxy was uh, at at the door here at the glass door looking out and I noticed he jumped back and then freaked out and I was like what the hell is going on and if you guys haven't heard me talk about my cats before Galaxy my black cat is um an indescribable being I cannot um the stuff he saved me from and protected me from I have pages and pages of just amazing uh, abilities that he has when it comes to me and anytime I get up he follows me it doesn't matter he's like my guardian angel, and I love that about him. And so I saw there were just two ladybugs, and I saw what would look to be like one of those sweat bees, but it was a lot bigger, and he had a hell of a stinger on him. And um, and so I think Galaxy took one for the team um, because it it it, it just it kind of shocked me. And then I was just thinking about it and some other strange things that have been going on, and I look out the window, and here's one of my hawks just flying right by me. It's the point where sometimes you just, it's like, what? And there's been tons of dragonflies outside today. And yesterday, we were looking out the back window before we left to go. We went to a Columbus uh, festival or whatever last night or yesterday. And um, there were two pigeons just kicking it in the backyard. And so, of course, I did research on pigeons, which they mate for life. And the female pigeon uh, lays two eggs at one time, if anybody's interested in knowing that. So those may resonate. I want to know what the vibe is. What is the vibe, Spirit? Please show us. Oh, I'm just trying to catch it. Damn it. Hmm. Hopeless. Lost. Depression. Suicide. I'm not sure why I'm on this kick today, but I'm sure it's Spirit-led. In my last message, I said something about depression and unaliving yourself. <sighs> there was a time about two years ago, and I briefly spoke of this, and I'm, I'll just share limited now, um, where I would wake up and I would have a, a knife in my hand wanting to unalive myself. And I knew it was spell work because there's nothing that could ever be done or said that would ever make me want to end my life. I love my life. All of it. All parts of it. And so when I see this card today, and, and, and according also with the reading that I gave just uh, prior to this one, um, about being mindful of your emotions. There may have been a great loss in your life and you're feeling depressed, but I'm speaking to someone who... And I've been trying to shake this energy, but I mean, I guess it'll it'll come off me when the message is given. Be very mindful of how you feel when you watch certain creators, videos, TV, around certain people, when you earn, er, uh, eat certain people's food. There's spell work place. And you, people can do spell work on every and anything. They could do it on your animals, your car, your beauty, your uh, uh, your mind. I mean, and anything you can think of. There's 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 that. There's so much out there about that. And so spirit is wanting you to know that you're not hopeless in this situation. That if if you recognize that this is not how you really feel, this is not you, and you don't consent to that. Call back your energy immediately and ask your spirit guides and your spirit team to give you protection and guidance. This is not a game. In my book here, I have all kinds of accounts of when people have done all kinds of spell work and binding work to me. I've been in a jar, I've been in a freezer, I've been in the ground. Um, that's just to name a few. And as I was writing that, there were some pieces of it that I wasn't, I wrote it, but I wasn't ready to talk about it yet because um, I don't fear for my safety, but I'm not in a place where I feel safe enough to protect myself in the physical realm. Even though I know I'm always protected by spirit, I'm not naive to the ignorance of these covenants and these groups in the community. And one thing I noticed was that there's a lot of death around a lot of individuals. There's a lot of people who took their own life. 
It doesn't go past me and may it not let go past you. If this is not, it's hard to, when you are somebody who has past addictions, past mental health diagnosis, a traumatic past, a uh, essayed a lot, or as a child there was abuse, things like that. It's hard not to feel hopeless as a soul. I want you to challenge yourself to gain a new perspective on not to minimize and not to negate from the fact of the horrible and evil things that have happened to you. Never take away from that. But to recognize because you are who you are, because you're of the light, because you walk with power and you have grace and you walk with love and you are this divine instant being, these are the things that occur. They want you to feel lost. They want you to feel depressed. They want you to unalive yourself. So it fits the narrative. Don't give them that power. Don't give them that strength. They have no power over you. Call on to your high vibrating ancestors, spirit guides, divine being source of light. I always am, uh, call on Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael and I have been kicking it since the day I was born. But whatever uh, and whatever that you're called to. No one can tell you who your spirit team is but yourself. And they will show themselves to you. And this is probably a piece of the, uh, uh, some remnants probably of the other message I gave. Even though I've cleansed my space, I'm just feeling this loss and this depression of all these things that have happened to someone. And it's just, it's causing you to be, it could possibly cause you or energies around you to feel like this hopeless sense, like this is ever going to end. That's because you're making waves. You're making waves. Even if you're not speaking out, like I said on last year, if you're not speaking out what's happened to you, by you walking in the light, by you surviving, you're making waves, emotions, worry, fear. And that's what's like these waves of emotions that come in, this fear that comes in, um, this uh, and just this unexplainable experiences that you're having. It, it, you're not alone. I just want to keep saying that to somebody that you're not alone. Maybe it's a message also to myself. Can we, can, we, can we get a spiritual symbol, please? Catch. Huh. Environmentalist. Overconsumption. Blames. Anti-human. Retreating. Ap apocalyptic. Righteous. Complacent. Pushes agendas onto others. Rigid. Intolerant. Yeah, they're trying to push the agenda onto you. They're trying to push their own agendas on you. Their own beliefs and values onto you. Um, physically fit, harmony, um, healthy, fearless, perpetually curious, loves family, holistic balance, transforming and removes obstacles. Turn your pain into power. This energy, these energies around you want you to be in this state of depression, the state of hopelessness, the state of worry, the state of fear. Because when you're constantly worried and you're constantly in fear about things, you can't focus on your path. You can't focus on the divine light. You get distracted everywhere you go. You have to take care of this. One day you may feel immensely ill and sick to your stomach. The next day you're going to feel depressed. The next day you don't have energy. I'm not projecting. This is what spirit is showing me. Forge forward. And I, and I know a lot of, I'm hearing someone say it's so much more easier said than done. I know. You have all the power and all the strength surrounding you that you need. Use the elements of Mother Earth for protection and guidance. Use the elements. Fire, air, water, earth, spirit, source. To get yourself out of these situations. I guarantee you. You'll see the light at the end of the tunnel become, tunnel become brighter and brighter and brighter. Um, and, I, of course, we're out of time. The, this person wants you to overly consume things. They want, you, they want you to have this fear of them. Don't have the fear. If you weren't so powerful and you weren't of the light, they wouldn't be coming after you. Have a great day.